is this is digital entertainment editor, Ella Cerrone, and today we have a very special grad. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Grace! Grace, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, congratulations. Your new EP is out today. Yes. How does it feel to have Perfectly Imperfect out? Uh, relieving. Just be able to like have it out there finally and just relax. Did you stay up until midnight for it to drop? Actually, no. I went to bed really early that night because like, I did so much that day for like PR, promoting it. I went to Wendy Williams and then I went to a newscaster and then a Facebook Live and like, I don't know why, but like I was so just tired. I slept like a baby that night. <laughs> and what was it like when you woke up? It was like Christmas morning. I was super excited to see everyone's reactions. Oh, hi, Dad. Well, today we're going to also be um, asking some questions. We are at Alice's Keep Up right now, and um, a bunch of fans and friends are here to join us, and they've all written down questions for Grace. Um, and so we're going to get to the first one. Avery wants to know, what is the favorite song that you wrote and why? Gossip Girl, because it's different, and like, I don't know, I really like the sound of it. I like to write it like Yeah, for sure. And it, but Gossip Girl especially touches on something that's really relatable. How did, where did you get the inspiration from that? Well, that sounds like more dark than I usually do. Um, I usually try to like be like empowering songs and this one's more like, um, kind of uh, like <laughs> pointing someone out for something they did. And um, it was kind of just like, I really wanted to get that out of my system because I kept dwelling on this one memory and this one thing that happened. So. Absolutely, music is such a great way to process all of that. We're sorry, Miss Buck, this is very, very live right now. It's a city. <laughs> um, Beautiful city noises. Gisela wants to know, how do you uh, write the songs? Like, where do you pull the inspiration from? Um, I don't know, like, sometimes I can sit down and, like, say, like, I want to write a song right now, and then other times it just hits me, like, I could just be, you know, eating something, and just be like, oh my gosh. And then I run upstairs and I write down all different. Yeah, for sure. And we know the story about how you know you really wanted the ukulele, and so you saved up for it and all of that. So how did that pair in with singing? Like, where, what, how did you start deciding that you wanted to sing? Well, I've always sang like um, ever since I can remember. So the ukulele just kind of turned in on that. Either it's a motorcycle or like, Sure. Including your voice for the whole year in a second. Um, and how, why do you like playing the ukulele so much? Anastasia would like to know that. Because it's simple. Um, I think the reason I liked it so much is because like I'm not a patient person at all. And like I think that's why I like kind of didn't do piano anymore because like that requires so much like, like patience and concentration. And like the ukulele is something you can like pick up like really fast. And I think that's why I liked it a lot. Yeah, for sure. And we know that you just received a guitar from Shawn Mendes. Yes. Have you begun playing it at all? No, but I am gonna like look up a few chords for like a video, but I'm planning on staying with you. Yeah, for sure. But he did say he would help teach you. Yeah. So, it, I mean, I would take guitar lessons from Tom Mendes any day. Um, Kate would like to know if you get nervous when you're performing. Yes, absolutely. I'm kind of nervous right now. Like, like I, don't, I don't know. I don't like, know what to say to people. Um, but yeah, all the time. How do, you, how do you work through that? You just gotta do it. Like, there's honestly, there's no way to work with it unless like to breathe. But like once you're up there with like the adrenaline rush, you like forget all that. Yeah, for sure. And did you learn anything about you know maintaining those nerves um, while on the show? No, there's there's no way to handle it. You just gotta do it. Like, and no matter how many times I perform, like I still gotta like deal with the nerves and like. I've just, I've yet to find a solution. If you know one, please tell me. But you just gotta, you just gotta do it. Yeah, and Domenica wants to know, um, how do, where do you see yourself in two years? I don't know, like hopefully doing something with music. Um, I don't really know. Uh, just trying to stick in the moment. Yeah, for sure, because a lot of this happened. You had originally planned 
on um, auditioning for um, American Idol when it was the proper age, because our age limit's slightly like, older than um, America's Got Talent. So did you ever expect all of this to be happening by the age of 12? No, absolutely not. I didn't even think all this would happen if I were like 15 auditioning for American Idol. Here I am. So basically, and we're so happy for that. Um, and Justin says that the studio version of the songs is different from the live version. So what was that process like of you know figuring out um, how to like create those sounds? Um, honestly, like a lot of people have asked me, did you have any inspiration? Did you have any like? Uh, artists that you're inspired by for like this album, but like really what we did is we recorded the song and then just like totally messed around with it and like if this sounded good we would keep it, if this sounded bad we would take it out. If you think, oh that's too much, we take a little out, if that's too little, we would win. Just kind of like experimenting with it. Yeah, did you learn anything different about this uh, recording process that you had known before? I never really thought about how they made songs. So like it was cool to like watch it before. It was like watching a baby grow up when it just like, bam, it was there. It was beautiful. Have you been listening to your own EP now that it's out? No, but my mom has a lot. You know, I woke up this morning at like 6 in the morning because my mom wakes up so early every day. And all I hear is, Gossip Girl, and like our little Alexa thing. She's like, Alexa, play I Don't Know My Name. And like, I woke up to that this morning, like, blaring so loud. So, yeah. Um, Brian wants to know um, if you're already planning on writing any other songs now that the EP is out. Um, hopefully there's an album to come, like a full one, and like that requires a lot of work, and so trying to start now. That's so exciting. Are there any questions from uh, Facebook? Jenna wants to know what Simon was like in real life. He's so nice. <laughs> like, we exchanged phone numbers. He's like, great, if you have anything. Anything at all, just text me. You could have, you could have a question. What color dress shall I wear? You can text me. And like he gave me a Voss water, and like I've never held one. He's super cool. He's really nice. Yeah. Margo wants to know: Do you like your hedgehog or your pug more? Yeah. Why would you? It's like shoot. It's like saying what your favorite child is. Um, <laughs> Probably, probably honestly Frankie, if I were going to be 100% honest, my pug. I, lo I love my hedgehog, but... And what's your hedgehog's name? Moo Moo. Moo Moo. Jesse wants to know what advice you would have for somebody else who likes singing like you do. Um, like... Just like keep believing, I got turned down all of my life because I was never popular and I lived in a community where like singing doesn't matter at all, it matters who you are and like how popular you are and it made me really think like I kind of stink at singing so always believe it because like look at me now. <laughs> What would you say to yourself if you could kind of go back in time and you know give advice to that girl? Probably nothing. Because that really brought me where I am. Like there are things I have made like so many mistakes, but I don't regret like one because they've all like built up and brought me where I am. Absolutely. Janelle wants to know what is your favorite thing about performing? Um, the rush. It's so much fun. It's like a roller coaster. You know like that feeling you get when you ride a roller coaster? That's what you get. It's like really fun. Tiffany wants to know what is your favorite holiday? I was like, probably Christmas. Christmas or Halloween? Um, you know what? No, no. Christmas. Because it's just like so pretty. I love Christmas lights. So to see them everywhere. And I love snow. I love cold. So, yeah. And now you get to celebrate it twice because you said this is like Christmas morning Yay. all over again. Well, we also have a very special surprise today because, Grace, you are going to be performing for us. What song are you going to be performing? Light the Sky. And what was, that's your favorite? One of my favorites. I love Light the Sky. What was the process of writing that particular song? 
Um, well, I wanted to, I, I at first like, wanted to make like, like kind of a rebellion song, and I was like, I want this to be like, like one of those cool songs that when you listen to, you feel like just like going outside and like riding a skateboard or something. And um, yeah, it just kind of turned into well, um, ladies and gentlemen, Grace Vanderbilt. Bombshell. 